Climate change is right in front of us. It's something that we are going to have to know about, handle, and live through for the rest of our personal and professional lives. Students that we have in environmental studies and in sciences are really passionate about trying to figure out how to be part of the solution, how the, they can take their studies and make a difference. Between these two parts, the Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Studies, the, the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, it really ha has a way of speaking to both of those different kinds of students who want to make a difference uh, in the world. The current ecological crisis is, you know, obviously deeply involved in science. So science is the way that we learn about nature, we understand patterns and mechanisms, but the thing about environmental issues is that it's not just the natural world, it involves human societies. How do they put these things into action? How do they sort of follow the Jesuit mission of knowledge, reflection and action and sort of that triangle is the foundation of the environmental studies and sciences program. In the environmental studies department it's very all-encompassing. You study social behaviors, social issues and policy and government but you also kind of dip your toe into the science side of it with environmental chemistry, environmental biology. I think that helps students engage more with learning about a variety of different things in the environmental world. I think for me the thing that's made me the most excited has been undergraduate research with Dr. Bancroft. That was a chance that I got that I probably wouldn't have gotten at a different, you know, much larger school for example. I was able to create and design my own experiment and protocol. We're actually working on analyzing the data right now to get that published eventually, which is super exciting. As someone who grew up in Spokane, um, I remember Gonzaga always being a part of the community. Spokane actually just passed a sustainability plan for the city and Gonzaga had a huge part in helping develop that plan. I helped work on the stakeholder list and getting um, groups of people in communication. Gonzaga has so many programs, clubs, organizations that are invested in climate change and the natural world and that care and love for this common home that we have, whether that's Gonzaga Outdoors and getting to go explore, clubs that are actively working for sustainability on campus, or the Center for Climate Society and the Environment who's bringing in all of these voices from the community and experts in the field. So Gonzaga has these excellent programs like environmental studies, environmental science, and now we also have the center, which gives us a platform for going out into the community and making a difference. So the Climate Literacy Program is really neat. It's a program where undergraduate students are creating lesson plans that we're going to give in local elementary schools. Essentially what we're specifically doing is testing different climate-centered science kits. And so we're hoping to just like leave behind these artifacts that teachers can use in the future to help continue integrating climate change literacy. It's so easy to study abroad. It's encouraged to go study abroad, especially these School for Field Studies programs where they get to go out, pick a country, go learn in that country, live in that country. We thought, well, could we offer a, another alternative to students that maybe didn't want to do that or couldn't afford to do that? So we came up with Gonzaga in the Wilderness which is a summer program, a study abroad program, even though it's a domestic program. So the idea is to give students that immersive, experiential education component in the incredible place that we live in. They'll have a well-rounded experience in some of the most beautiful country in the world to go out into on the weekend or to go study in, in your field work in the classroom. So it makes for a really amazing place uh, to learn about the environment and how to make a difference after graduation. Just understanding the science is not enough. We really train students to understand both the science and the larger context that the science is happening in. Going into the future, um, a lot of environmental stewardship is going to be very important in our local community. Gonzaga and the Climate Center are a great place to start. I realized doing research over the summer that I was like, this is what I want to do with my life. I want to do science and I want to find ways to help you know, protect the, the really wonderful and beautiful resources we have. What gives me hope is, yes, this is a problem, but the solutions are out there and there is um, a lot of potential to develop new solutions to address environmental issues. So when we go out into the world, we will be prepared for the challenges that are going to face us in the coming years.